Hello, hello, friends. Look at my green screen peeking out over the side there. Oh, that needs to... Apparently, that clearly needs to be fixed. I... What the frick? What, am I sitting on it? <laughs> hello. Welcome. Welcome to... Welcome to Let's Play 60 Parsecs. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna play with this giant green sheet for half an hour first. You know what? You know what? I could stand up and fix the green screen, or I could just tilt the camera ever so slight. Look at that. It's like a miracle. It's like a dream come true. Hello, welcome to Let's Play 60 Parsecs. I'm your host, Magic Man Mel. I just started the stream, just put the notification out, said, hey guys, I is live. And then I went and got some coffee, and there's already people in the chat! Hey, Grant Game Crusader YT and Super Foxer, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you guys could make it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're a quick boy. You are. You were super quick. Let's get this baby... Wait, what? Let's get baby this run? Oh, no, no, no! Uh, we're not doing a new run. We're continuing. We're continuing our run. We... It's not a new run. We didn't die! We didn't die last time, so there's no new run to be had right now. Uh, but uh, maybe next time. Maybe maybe next time we have a run, we'll have to get baby. Get some new characters for sure. I agree with you guys. Welcome. Uh, I just made a thousand days survival in that game. I don't want to survive a thousand days. I want to either beat the game or die long before a thousand days. We're at day 32... Um, April is off on an excursion. We do have a cracked window, which is a little concerning, and I don't know if that's ever going to be fixed or not. Mmm. Ah, cold, cold coffee. It's the only way to do it. Crucial things, Captain Dee Dee. I do enjoy Dee Dee being Captain because she's caffeinated, like me, so I enjoy that quite a bit. Baby who I've never used, Emmett. I do like Emmett, and I do like April. Um, I do have a gun now, but we didn't start with a gun, and we got our armor mask. I didn't start with a mask, but I did start with the shovel. Did I start with the battery, or did I have to find the battery? I don't remember now. Boom, magically fixed. I got the Twitch notification clicked as fast as I could. That was fast. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it. That was quick. All right, let's do it. We're back into the game. I, I think we... No, no, we're in a new day. It looks like everything still needs to be... Where did we leave off? We'll just read our day 32. You were out of ideas for dealing with the robotic mosquitoes that invaded the shuttle. So you decided to just wait it out. I remember this. We just waited out a bunch of mosquitoes. The insects were irritating, yes, but relatively harmless. You thought the constant buzzing was the biggest annoyance, but changed your mind when we found that a number of our soup cans have been emptied by the robotic menace. Those mosquitoes gorged on our supplies and only left when they were sated, which if I remember correctly they actually didn't take any soup because we didn't have any soup and then we immediately crafted one so that works pretty well april still isn't back from her expedition emmett remains alert emmett still looks starved crafting is completed and i might want to secure some rations for myself emmett considers me his friend so excellently done there who's star you're you're not starving you're hungry though you're starving and i'm starving but i'm caffeinated no i'm just hungry i'm not even starving i'm just hungry emmett Here's the only one starving. Let's give him the soup that we just uh, crafted and probably immediately make another soup. No, we can't immediately make another so uh, soup because we have no chemicals. Unless we can craft it out of something else, we cannot. I would like to craft some more stuff, though. I think we were thinking about doing an upgrade last time, and I don't remember what. Maybe the mask, I think, I was, was suggested to me. I don't remember, but I would like to craft some tape. Because I feel like tape could come in handy at some point. Tape, maybe even another communicator, maybe eventually the artifact. But I feel like tape could be handy, question mark. So we'll hit the old uh, plus on that, because I think it cost, I, I didn't even look, but I think it cost minerals, and we've got tons of minerals. New thing. Computer! I asked one of the locals about their customs. I have some ideas for explaining their culture to you. Pick something, Captain, and I'll share my newly acquired knowledge using that item as a focus point. Well, I just gave away my soup. I don't have a Medicaid, and I don't have a communicator. So, uh, nothing. We're not gonna make any new friends, uh, confirmed. I feel like we read and did all that stuff, but maybe I just didn't end the day because I was ending the stream right then and there, because that sounded super familiar. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll end the day there. I'm gonna give Emmett the soup. I can't make another soup for a while yet, so hopefully when April comes back, she will be bringing some soup home with her, because otherwise we're getting really soup-starved. We're getting really soup-starved. Hey, April's back! I think she did bring a soup back, I think. Nicely, nicely done. See what we can craft? No, our soup! Emmett's doing well. He was just starving. Mm-hmm. Say, Mo is just barely scraping. I really am just barely scraping along, but I'm surviving a lot longer and better than I honestly thought I would. That is definitely sure. 
upgrade the gun? Should I upgrade the gun? We are on a peaceful planet, so I don't know if upgrading the gun will be necessary. Like, we're on a planet full of peaceful robots. You just notice the paper on the left is su it's super long. It's because it's day 33 and it prints every day. You weren't in the mood for an inter interactive presentation on this planet's customs. Explaining it to you plainly failed. You fell asleep. No worries, Captain. I'm sure there will be many other learning opportunities during our stay here. April returned from her library excursion quite exhausted, probably from all the heavy reading. She complains about a rumbling stomach. I judge her mental state to be a little off. April says the library is a little boring, but nevertheless impressive. A few automatons take care of the big data collection while some citizens visit the building to browse. April ventured into a particularly dark corner of the building. She fell a few times and banged her head pretty hard while finding her way back to the main corridor. April asked a speaker-less robotic librarian to translate a bit of coded knowledge. The automaton shushed her and then gestured towards what looked like a kid's corner with toys, funny-shaped bits of metal, and little bottles of colorful liquids. I think we can use these. Oh, that'll work quite nicely because I can make soup out of that. Good news, April picked up a first aid kit during the trip. Oh! I don't have to craft one now, which is awesome because they take three whole days to craft. Where does all this soup come from? It's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, April picked up some soup on the way. Night, April. Well done. Bravo, April. This trip had a, the potential to uncover technology the Astro Citizen creators could only dream of if only the human mind wasn't so limited. April is still loyal. Crafting is completed. We've got our tape now. April is tired after her long trip outside. Emmett is asking for some soup. We just fed you, Emmett. And Tom is starving. But luckily, we have soup to feed you now. So yeah, you're you're starving, but we can give you a soupy soup. Are you starving? You're just tired and hungry. You're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. I think we should probably immediately craft another soup. Just try to get ahead of the soup game. I would like to make a. I would like to make another communicator eventually. Uh, actually, weren't we weren't we discussing? I think we were discussing last time that I should upgrade the expedition system so that I can go further out. I think we were discussing that. So actually, now that we're back from our expedition, let's upgrade the expedition system because we can't do that when we're out on expedition. So question, if I set that now and then immediately send somebody, I cannot. Oh wait, no, uh, system unavailable, system upgrading process. So we can't, we can't explore for two days while we're upgrading it and I will not be able to make more soup in those two days and I'm about to feed my last soup to Tom, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we can survive that long. Computer, what's next? Captain, some space space spring chores are necessary. First off, the equipment safety and condition evaluation. We're a little behind on our most recent check. What with all the pan-galactic space trotting, we should check some of our gear. And April seems idle. Is there anything she should check? Uh, sure. Is this gonna be like a free upgrade or something? I don't really want to like. I don't really want to use something that I feel like is good. I, let's not. We should probably check the first. Nah, let's check the. Let's check the battery. Sure, check the check the battery. Maybe it'll be an auto upgrade for the battery. I don't know. Oh man. Uh, make what I say, space pirates. We need to make space pirates. He's been attacked quite a few times, and the gun would be a good upgrade. I've been like attacked, but like the only thing that was like. Danger who was dangerous was it the 2d people were the only real dangerous things like the robots have like the robot penguins They just drew an obscene picture outside. They didn't actually attack even though they were like armed with knives <laughs> April's MVP 2 2.0 MVP Yeah, definitely a, a feed time tomorrow like not this time Yeah, I think the expedition will be better for sure you want me to do the lighter instead of the battery? We'll do the lighter instead of the battery. I'm okay with that. Let's Because I, I wasn't going to do the first aid kit in case we lost it. But I don't care if we lose either of these two. Because I don't think they're that crazy important. At least not to me right now. So we'll do the lighter. We'll get the expedition system up to level 2. So that we can go further out and do more beautiful things. So I think that's going to end our day. Da -da -da -da, feed Tom. I could have fed Tom tomorrow. But ah! <laughs> we'll feed him today. <laughs> You asked April to grab one of the Astro Citizen approved checklist printouts and run through it with a chosen piece of equipment. April went one further. She was happy to add her own checks, noting how improvements could be made. Then she went ahead and gave our equipment a shiny enhancement. April has rested. April's starving. Oh, good. Oh, good. Now that I don't have any soup. Better give her something to eat. I don't have anything to eat. Tom is asking for some soup. Uh, but he's, uh, he's at least Tom's not starving. So April should have one extra day she can survive. 
uh, compared to how, how many days Tom had. Tom thinks of me as a friend. We're friends with Tom. Yay, I'm friends with Tom. I'm friends with Emmett. I'm not quite friends with April. And she's going to start feeling pretty bad here since I can't feed her for probably quite some time. Um, yeah, because I, I have to wait for that to finish. But hopefully she can hold out for like two days. She can hold out for like two days we can feed her. Captain, I'm detecting a humanoid figure approaching. It's a robot jittering along toward us, evidently blind. It has walked right up to the shuttle and is now clanging into the hull repeatedly. The pitiful thing appears to be malfunctioning. Leave it to its mind-numbed fate or attempt to communicate with it. I would love to attempt to communicate with it, but I haven't been able to make a communicator. And I made tape instead, so nothing. We're going to do nothing. Nada. Zilch. Nunaruno. <laughs> uh, they drew that because you attacked back. Well, the way the flavor read was that I just held my gun and hid inside with the guns waiting for them to attack. But you might be right. If I didn't choose gun, maybe they would have done something else entirely. So you, you're, you might be quite right about that. I played tic-tac-toe behind April. That was when we found the giant tic-tac-toe game that was like made by giants or something out there. And we like uh, tore it apart for resources last time. You're not friend of April is good because we'll become your soulmate. Oh, God. Am I about to become soulmates with April? Oh, God. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of responsibility. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that in our relationship. All right. We're going to end our day. Nothing much to do that day since we're waiting for the expedition system to finish with its nonsense. Just before you shut the door after taking a look at the robot still moshing at the whole outside, its vice-like grip clutched onto the airlock handle. The droid pulled open the door with incredible force and walked into the cabin where it began knocking into the walls and crew while screaming in binary. One, zero, zero, one. It didn't seem to want to hurt you or anything. This morning it woke from its stupor and left clutching its head unit. It must have been the morning after the night before. But the sleepless night, along with the image of the robot standing at your feet as you slept, left you and the crew more on edge than ever. At least we've all been pretty sane up until this point, so I think we can survive this. April still looks starved. Emmett keeps asking for soup. Tom keeps asking for soup. We upgraded our expedition system to level two. I'm starving now. Uh, April doesn't seem to be alert anymore. Emmett doesn't look alert anymore. Tom doesn't. No one looks alert anymore. We were all doing really well on alert, and we are no longer alert. So, April, I hope you can survive one more day, because I can make you soup, like, tomorrow. And then we need to make soup for myself. But if the expedition system is upgraded, we have new places we can go to. So, we have... The village, which isn't a new place, but it's it looks like maybe there's still something I can do there. There's the Oil Falls. That's new to me. That looks like it's got an octopus Cthulhu monster guarding it, uh, which is terrifying. We've got a charging hub, which could give us a battery and some energy, which we have a battery, so I'm not too worried about that. Some hazards as well. And we've got an assembly line, which can, I guess, make us tape and science with that uh, hazard thing there. So I'm thinking the next place we might want to go to is the oil falls. I know it only gives the science instead of like the science and uh, uh, tape or whatever it was from the assembly line. Like this seems like it could give us more, but at least with oil falls, I think if I, whoever I send out there, if I send them with their armor and gun, I think we can survive the hazard and who knows, maybe we'll find something interesting. Also, it might just be extremely stupid dangerous. Uh, who should we send though? Probably Tom. Cause we can't send April because I need to feed her first and we can't send me because we can't send me so I feel like we should send Tom because I think Tom is stronger and can we I forget how to do this uh can we look at our peeps Tom's like stronger if we're gonna be fighting people because Emmett's flexible and he's average Tom is fit and he's average and clever so like yeah you, I think Tom I think Tom would be the best for fighting Cthulhu right so should we send Tom to the oil fields to discover what he what there is to discover that's what I'm thinking uh yeah when you're attacked and do nothing they hurt you but if you defend they don't do anything oh I see so it was probably good that I had the the gun Tom died oof no Tom's still alive Tom's doing fine Tom's still kicking Oh, you thought you saw a skeleton. See where we can send Tom. I think, I think the oil falls. Oil falls and Tom and gun and armor. I agree with you. Yes, yes, yes. I agree with you. I, we are right on the same page, I think. So, Tom, I wish you were more more agile, but we're going to send Tom with the... This is the armor, right? Yeah, that's the armor. Send you with the gun. And we can send, since we've upgraded, we can send him with another item. Would another item be useful out in the oil fields? Like, maybe the shovel? So did we send him to the sh to the oil fields with the shovel? 
I'm not using the shovel for much else right now. Let's send him. Let's send him with the shovel. Tom, I, I, I will risk you my shovel. Okay, let's, let's see what happens. There, that, that'll, that should, I, I don't know. Maybe you'll dig something up out there. I don't know. Maybe a third thing. The squid is monster. That's what I was thinking. Some sort of monster squid Cthulhu thing. Computer! Oh no, Captain. One of the storage lockers is jammed and cannot be opened. It gets worse. It's my favorite locker. We will lose access to some of our supplies if we do nothing. Also, I will be sad. You need to act, Captain. Will you use uh, your brains or brawn to deal with the problem? Well... Our average intel- my, wait, Captain's attribute? My, my, has my intelligence gone down? I feel like I was smarter than average. No, I was more agile, that's what it was. I'm not very- I'm wimpy. I used to be average strength, I think, but I think that went down at one point in time. We're gonna use my intelligence, it's not very good, but it's my best stat, so just go for it, I guess. And hopefully April doesn't uh, starve to death, because I'm gonna make some soup, like, right now. Don't die on me, April, I've got soup coming! Soup's up, dude. All right, Tom's gone. Oh, Emmett's beard is coming in quite full now. I am saddened to report that you weren't able to unjam the locker. I am very disappointed. You've had a lot of very creative ideas, but none of them worked. Creative is a synonym of dumb. If my thesaurus subsystem is not mistaken, your, your subsystem is mistaken, but oh well. The fact remains, though, that we have lost access to the locker. Maybe it's a good thing that there's barely anything there? Not a big loss. Still, you should probably find some food unless you want to risk starving, Captain. We did. We made food. Captain, the SOS signal I, uh, we received a while ago is still going strong, but I cannot predict for how long. I advise you to take action soon if you're interested in the source. Oh, I forgot about an SOS signal. I don't know anything about that. If you wish to examine the source of the SOS signal, I suggest heading to the old assembly line during your next expedition. Oh, I forgot about that. We'll have to do that next, because I forgot about it. I didn't know. Tom went to examine the nearby oil source. You're still facing starvation, Captain. Uh, yeah, we're working on that. April's still loyal. Crafting complete. We got our soup! You seem weak, Captain. It's not looking good for you. Consider patching yourself up with a first aid kit before it's too late. Emmett is starving. He won't survive without soup. Everyone's starving, god dang it. Everyone's starving. Guys, stop it! <laughs> stop you. Wait, April's starving? Didn't we feed you? Did I not feed you? Did I forget to feed? No, we just crafted our soup just now. So we'll feed you next. We're gonna make some more soup. I can't- I, I can do this one more time. I don't- I don't know- we're in a lot of trouble here, <laughs> but April was starving first. April is starving first, so she's been starving for longer, so we'll feed you. Computer! Captain, there's been this constant interference in our comms as of late. Like musical notes playing on repeat. It's starting to become annoying. You could do something about it, but it might just stop if we keep ignoring it. Who should deal with this conundrum? Uh, to deal with... Uh, inter... Uh, Emmett, probably? He's brilliant. He's smart. Yeah, we'll put... Emmett on the case. He's smart. He can figure out interference. Sure, why not? When you starve, your stats go down. I see. Okay. Is it temporary, though? I hope we can get it all back up. Because sometimes our stats have gone up. Sometimes. Feet April. She was starving the lungs. I, I agree with you. You join me? Wait, join what? Join the boss fight? Is that what's happening? Should I join the boss fight? Hang on. I can do that. Hang on. Look at this. Uh... I forget how to join. Is it boss? There you go. Look, I think I think that joined me. There, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in your I'm in your thing now. Perfect. Uh, that'll end the day. I think for us. I think that's all I can really do. See the chat more times. I try to look over. I try to look over more often. I hope I'm not missing too much. Okay, where are we at? Emma analyzed the repeating sound pattern and understood what needed to be done. An answer to complete the sequence was in order. A few tries later, as he hummed a logical continuation, a strange artifact materialized in his hands. We don't have to craft one now. I still don't know what, how that happened, but at least the sound is no longer playing. We got a free artifact. Who knows how that's going to come in handy? Who knows? But I'll take it. Emma still looks starved. Tom is out exploring the surroundings. Crafting completed. New item available. Soup! April is asking for more rations, because of course she is. And I'm going to continue to make one more... No, I cannot make one more soup. We are done with soup. I think we're going to go ahead and craft the communicator, since I'm doing nothing with the crafting machine right now, and we have a bazillion minerals. And occasionally, uh, that kind of stuff comes up where we need a communicator. So April's doing good. I have one soup left. Um, I need to give myself a medikit. Should we give myself the food? I've been starving for longer than Emmett. But I am caffeinated. God, uh, I think I'm going to give myself the soup. I think I'm going to give myself the soup. And I hope, I really hope Tom comes back with either science that we can make soup with or comes back with more soup. Um, How long was this expedition? Was it two days or three days? We don't know. <laughs> we'll find out when he comes back. 
Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Me and Super Fox, we managed to defeat the... What boss did we fight? The dragon! We took down the dragon in, in the chat. Um, Smart Mo, feed Emmett a soup? Should I feed... Oh, there's some dis there's some uh, disagreement. Should I feed Emmett or myself with the soup? Don't heal myself. But I'm weak. The healing will fix my weak. It was two. What was two? What was two? I'm gonna look at the computer and then I'll come back to you guys. Computer! Last night I was browsing through some designs of, uh, of beautiful machines. Never you mind why. Now pay attention! <laughs> Oh my god. I found a food dispensing machine on board. Oh, I need that. All shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were to be uh, equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but apart from that, it seems functional. It's hardly rocket science, so you should manage to fix it. But how? Well, I don't have my shovel because I sent Tom with it. But duct tape? Ah, if this gets us food, I'm going to be very happy. I'm going to be very happy if this gets us food. Tom can come back hurt. He could, but we did send him with armor and a gun and a shovel. Oh, it was two. Two days. Okay. I forgot what we were talking about. It's two days. So he should be back tomorrow, assuming everything's okay. I want to feed myself and heal myself. Because I love me. <laughs> because I am all about me. I'm hoping Tom comes back with food or that food dispensing thingamajig makes us some food and we can feed Emmett. Come on. Here's hoping. Here's praying. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, Tom's still not back. Maybe I've got my days off. Official government research shows there is not a thing in the universe that cannot be fixed with duct tape. You were very resourceful to tape a chair leg where the lever used to be. See, yeah, perfect. Now just a little pull in. There you go, Captain. A brand new can of soup straight from the vending machine. Unfortunately, there was only one portion inside. Don't worry, I already got rid of the remaining junk. Uh, plus one soup, which we needed for Emmett. You remain very mentally stable. April seems uh, remains loyal. April is still very hungry. Emmett is still starving. Crafting completed. We got the communicator. Oh, that's why you didn't want me to heal myself, because Tom could come back hurt? That's why you didn't want me to use the medikit on myself. Ah, I just got that. Well, we'll make another one eventually. Looks like I managed to piece myself together, and I'm no longer weak. I'm not really complaining, but I know you're hungry, Captain. Emmett is in poor health. He looks weak. Emmett's in poor health now, too. What the? Emmett! God dang it! Emmett! I'm feeding you. I didn't want you to. <laughs> I didn't want you to be weak, but I'm not weak. We're good. All right, so let's make. I can't make another soup right now. I can't make a med kit because oh, this med kit also requires science. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought it needed minerals. Well, we can upgrade nothing. Oh yeah, nothing. Cause, uh, dude, wait. Do I have no upgrades that require minerals to make? Apparently not. It's all energy. I'm a little energy short right now i need two more energy can i i could recycle something but i kind of want to hang on to everything if possible oh i hate i really hate not doing anything with my crafting at all this, t this the, today i kind of hate doing that but i think that's how it's gonna be something seems to be troubling you captain i've registered you i've registered you keep staring outside the window into the endless void why did you lose something i see you are remembering earth i admit it was nice before the nuclear barbecue that is i can switch off for a second captain do you wish to have a moment to yourself artifact artifact what what is artifact going to do because no i don't really want the computer to turn off because that sounds like a terrible idea, but artifact? I have one. Flex tape can fix anything. Flex tape! We need to just slap that flex tape right on there. It'll fix everything. Uh, if works, uh, if it works, Emmett is saved. Nice. Emmett's saved. Starving leads to weak, and weak leads to dead eventually. That's what I was starting to pick up on. That was my, that was my suspicion. Don't recycle any. Yeah, I didn't want to recycle anything. I definitely didn't want to. So I, I, I feel terrible that I can't craft or upgrade anything today. But hopefully Tom comes back tomorrow with some stuff that we can actually do things with. I think it's going to end my day. We're going to feed Emmett. Emmett, you aren't dead. Day 39. And Tom's... <gasps> Look at all the soup he brought. <laughs> yes. You've been worried about something, Captain, but it seems those troubles are behind you. I'm not surprised by your choice to find comfort with the Astro Citizen issued... A Astra fact. It is guaranteed to resolve any and all of your emotional issues. I can't tell if it was the mumbling uh, to the uh, wait the what no the mumbling to or the juggling of the artifact that helped. But I am glad to see you're doing uh, better. Tom is back to give you his report from his last voyage. He is mighty tired but still alive. He says he could eat something and his mental state is suboptimal. Tom claims that a mechanical creature with one eye peeked out of the hot oil stream and attacked him. He fires straight at the eyeball and defeated it, but the pistol got a little jammed. 
want. Uh, but we still have it, so there's that. Tom shoveled at the bottom of the stream and gathered some mate rich materials, which we already have plenty of. Tom scooped up some oil from the stream and brought it back for craft. So we have science. We can make a med kit, I think. I'm still trying to figure out how or why tomato soup is available universe-wide. Anyway, Tom has returned bearing soup. Overall, Tom has become MVP again. Tom, MVP, number one. Overall, Tom says it's an interesting landmark, but not without its dangers. The place helps the robots keep their bodies in decent shape, but aggressive mechafauna hides below the stream's surface. I'm still hungry. April keeps asking for soup. Emmett remains in poor health. Emmett is complaining about an empty stomach. It is troublesome, Captain, but it appears someone was following our explorer during the expedition. <gasps> What could that mean? I don't know. Well, that's uh, that's that. Uh, also, we haven't looked at our goals in a while. I don't even know what... Uh, we, we need to check the SOS... So we need to go to the assembly line now. And we still haven't made seven successful attribute decisions as far as I know. So there's that. Oh, we got four cans of soup. Who's starving? No one's starving right now, right? Is everyone okay? Yeah, everyone's actually not starving. Oh, that's so good. Oh, beautiful. So we want to make a med kit because it's going to take a bazillion years to make. So I'm going to go ahead and start that right now, since I have the materials, the, 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 the science, the science for it. So we're going to do that. Uh, Tom died in expedition. He did not. He survived. Tom MVP for sure. Ah! Repair the gun. Oh, do I need to repair the gun? Instead of, uh, oh, I do need to repair. Oh, I need to repair the shovel. Nah, I'm not going to repair the shovel. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to craft the med kit. We'll, we'll hold out on the shovel for now. I'm gonna make a med kit because we have people that are weak. Uh, are you weak? No, you're just tired. We do have Emmett who's weak, and I don't want him to be weak anymore. So we'll make the med kit. We'll worry about the shovel a little bit later. Uh, I don't think the gun is damaged. I know it said jammed, but I don't think it is damaged. I think it's okay. The game confuses me sometimes. Me too. Me too. I agree with you. All right. Let's see the ha yeah. You're right. Let's see the hazards of that assembly line, which I think is over here. Uh, it's the radiation thing. Oh, we need the mask for that, I think. And I think I have one. So, confirm that. So, we want to go to the assembly line. I can't send Tom. So, I'd have to send Emmett or April. April. We've got to send Ep April, right? Because she's, I mean, Emmett, yeah, Emmett's smart, but he's not, he's not expedition capable, right? We should probably send April, right? Because she's pretty decent at everything. She's not the brightest in the bunch, but she's pretty decent at everything. She's at least average, right? I think we send April, and we give her the armor, because literally, I send I send everybody with the armor. Every single expedition has been armor. We send you with the mask, I think. The mask, yes. And something else. Should we send her with the gun? Should we send her with the gun? I think we should send her with the gun. Send mask, for sure. <laughs> wait at game. Game, wait. Because what else could we... We could, send, we could send her with the artifact, but that doesn't seem necessary at all. The battery... What if we send her with the battery and we can start the assembly line with it and make it run and give us things? I feel like sending the gun would be safer just in case someone attacks us because it is an SOS. We could send them with the book if the book will help us understand the assembly line, but I think the book was chemical. It contains a chapter about chemical compounds. It is a radiation zone, I think. So that could be chemicals, probably not a lighter. Probably not the sock puppet. We don't need to send soup. We'll hang on to the tape. We could send the communicator, but I think we want to hang on to that ourselves, so it seems to be coming handy here a lot. You think the battery as well? Okay, I could send the battery. So yeah, definitely mask. Let's go for battery. I don't know if this makes sense. Probably not, though. Only those two. Um, Super Foxer says only those two. Like, don't send anything else? Is that what you're saying? Just the armor and the mask? Is that what you're saying? I could do that. That's the only things that I feel like should be necessary. Should I send her with a gun anyway? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think... Don't mind me. I'm going to just check something real quick on my... Computer, computer, stat, info. There we go, perfect. There we go, back back in the game. Pardon me, I had to look at something real quick. Either way. Yeah, let's, you know what? Let's not risk losing any of the items since we don't know. I could send her with the gun. I could send her with the gun because I don't know what the SOS is all about. I don't know what the, okay. Indecision. You know what? Just 
We'll do the armor and the mask. We'll do the armor and the mask. It's only one hazard. April, I think we're good. I think we'll do it. I feel like that's risky, but I think we're okay. Furious Googling in the background. I swear, I wasn't Googling the answers, I swear. I just needed to make sure something else was working on my computer. All right, I think, I think, oh, computer, we haven't done our computer. Captain, it is time for an Astro Citizen activity of utmost importance, the most humble task available on this shuttle, keeping the floor clean. From dried up bodies of squash bugs to small rubber scuff marks, the place could do with a good scrubbing. April looks free. Will you ask her to apply some elbow grease or request she to improvise a cleaning formula from whatever we have on board? I don't want April to do anything. We're about to send her on an expedition. I think this, uh, her, her, she's better at strength, so I'm guessing strength. Uh, instead of trying to create some sort of formula that's going to explode and destroy our entire shuttle. We'll do the strength one! Alright, perfect. I think that's what we're going to do. End the day. Let's see if we survive to day 40. Day 40, here we go. Day 40. So ominous when it comes up like that. Day 40. You ordered April to get on all fours and work the floor clean. Just what a perfect Astro Citizen leader would do, ma'am. Being the respectful crewmate she is, April was happy to oblige and worked away at even the smallest stains down there on the floor. Cleaner shuttle, happier si Astro Citizen. All right, now that you're done cleaning out, April, get your butt outside and go on an expedition, will ya? <laughs> April left for a trip to the assembly line building to look for some supplies. I remain alert. Emmett remains weak. Tom has rested. Tom is starving and should definitely eat something. We can do that. Tom, we're going to feed you so that you don't become weak because medikits are re really a pain in the butt to make because uh, they take forever. Oh, what's that? A, a few small robots left a package just outside the shuttle and ran off? Maybe it's a welcome gift. Should we bring the package on board and check it out, Captain? I won't let it go to waste either way, but I must say I find its contents intriguing. Shall we open it? Well, we are on, on a planet of friendly robots, so yeah. I, I trust it. I trust this package explicitly. I believe we will be fine. We need to get a med kit. We are working on it. We are working on the med kit. It's going to take a couple of days. Absolutely. Feed Tom tomorrow. I'm going to feed him now because I don't want him to become weak. Every time someone turns to starving, I like immediately feed them. And you might be, you're probably right. You probably know the game better than I do. Oh God, I just saw the all caps no. <laughs> I just saw the all ca caps no. Oh no. <laughs> we brought the package left by the small robots inside the shell and opened it. We expected a gift, but in fact, it was a prank. Inside was mechanical beehive. The bees. Before we managed to get rid of the robot bees, they took their time probing a lot of our, uh, they took their time probing a lot of our equipment for food, and some of it got badly damaged in the process. Well, at least we didn't lose any food. Dang, robo kids. Emmett appears to still be weak. Tom is still my friend. I should have sent the battery away. Then the, at least the battery would have been safe with April. I'm starving, apparently. Tom's asked for more rations because of course he is. We can repair that stuff. I think, I, I don't remember what it takes to repair stuff, but we can repair that stuff if it just requires power or mineral. If, we, if it takes minerals, we can repair it for sure. So I'm starving. I'm going to not be starving anymore. Emmett is weak and uh, still can't do anything about Emmett yet. Computer, what's up? Captain, there's a huge construct of some kind approaching the shuttle. It's neither animal nor robot. It's made out of moving crystal lattices, like a giant walking crystal saurus. Ow! That was one heck of a hit! The crystal saurus slammed into the shuttle and is currently scraping the hull open with its claws? But? I don't know. Magnus trying to extract our minerals. Captain, how will you stop this? With the gun. With the gun, of course. If it's going to attack me, I'm going to attack it. That's the only thing that makes sense. We will be friendly. Are we going to get loads gun? We're about to we're about to load the gun. <laughs> Look, we're being attacked by a giant crystal butt and we're about to shoot it right in the butt. That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to let it just take my minerals. They're my minerals, darn it. And my day. My decision is final. Bang bang, she shot me down. Bang bang. Oh god, we broke our gun. You fired a warning shot at the Crystal Saurus' feet. It was a grazing hit, but it worked. The Crystal Saurus reared and galloped away. The shot blew off enough stuff from the Crystal Saurus' foot for us to harvest it for resources. Yay, minerals! I remain alert. Tom is still complaining about the lack of rations. Crash and completed. We made our med kit. I'm hungry. Emmett is starving. Okay, perfect. So, Emmett, you're weak and starving, so you're gonna get food and a med kit. Look, we're friends, and I, I I watch out after my own. Tom's not starving yet, so no one else is starving, so we're gonna lose another soup. We need to do some repairs badly. Uh, they all require, do they all require science, though? No, why do you all require science? Science is what I use to make soup. Why does nothing cost minerals? Why does nothing cost minerals? That's energy. 
I have so many, I don't want, I've got 82 minerals. Nothing costs minerals and I'm so angry about that. Well, we're gonna repair our gun because the gun makes me feel safe. <laughs> so shut up. So we're gonna repair the gun. We're gonna run out of science and hopefully, hopefully when April comes back, she brings more food or more science I can make more stuff with. That'll be great. A long, uh, long term space travel presents many risks to one's physical well being, from muscular atrophy to laziness to diets notoriously high in sodium. <laughs> me, me just living on my own does that. <laughs> I'm concerned about the decline I've seen in the entire crew's physical fitness since our little sojourn began. I recommend a daily regimen of movements. The only you uh, that use only your own body weight. You don't need any equipment for those. Just gravity or artificial gravity. Any volunteers for a workout? Is this gonna make someone more strong? That would be pretty cool. So the question becomes: Do we want to make Emmett stronger because he's wimpy, um, or do we just want to make someone else super buff? Uh, Emmett's even st he's a bit stiff too. Because we could bring, see, I could bring Tom, because Dee Dee can't go on expeditions. We could make Tom stronger since he at least goes on expeditions. Or, we, like I say, we could buff up Emmett, who I don't usually send on expeditions. We could buff him up so that, one, we could send him on expedition if we need to, because he is smart. And also so that he's not wimpy anymore. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. If you want that. I'll repair the battery next, maybe. I think, yeah. I want to repair everything. I just don't want to be attacked by something and not be able to defend myself, you know? Make Emmett strong? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll buff up Emmett. I'm down for that. Because he's wimpy, and I think that can... Increasing the average strength of the entire shuttle, I think, could be helpful and useful. So let's end our day. Da-da-da-da. Is April back yet? April. Baby, come back to me. April's back! She did goal achieved! Check the SOS signal at the assembly line. Captain, Emmett's form was abysmal. Uh, I know. Push-ups and planks don't require that much strength. At least it's the bare minimum required to be a model citizen. Astro citizen. Emmett felt hungrier after that workout, but no caloric rewards could be given. Those are for the strong people. April returned from her journey to the assembly line. She looks tired, a bit hungry, and shaken. She says the assembly line is old and deserted. The automatons avoid it. Looks like... New robots aren't manufactured in the city anymore. Weird, interesting. The place was dusty and full of toxic gases. April was a little too rough with the mask and it suffered. April picked up some components from a lab in the back. I'm sure we can find a use for 34 slime. Yes! And it looks like we got more soup too. While searching the upper levels of assembly, a faint beeping sound caught April's attention. She followed it downstairs to a dusty cluttered basement along the deactivated lines to a far corner of the room. The beeping stopped as soon as she approached a rusty body of an old robot missing a head. Next to it was a small, half-disassembled robotic animal. Must have been some kind of mecha animal the robots produced to keep them company, and this one looked a lot like a dog. A chihuahua, to be exact. April brought the broken robo-dog to the ship. I'm not sure why. It's deactivated and looks like a pile of junk. Unless you figure out a way to fix it, it's just clutter. I suppose you could use it as paperweight. Who scattered all these cans so far away from Earth? Weird. All right, so we brought some back, back some soup. April says the assembly line looks like it has not been active for centuries. Why did they stop expanding the population? That's a very good question. Overpopulation, maybe? I don't know. Oh my God, that's a lot of emotes. <laughs> a perfect, a dog. Do we get to keep the dog? That's the question. You can chat in landscape. Yes, you can do that. Fun discovery there. Look at all those emotes. What even are those? Whoa, 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 watch the spam. Repair the dog. I'm going to try to if that's an option. I'm still hungry. April's still lawyer. T loyal. Lawyer. <laughs> April's still a lawyer. Tom is still hungry. Repairs are completed, so we've got our gun back. April's starving. We need to fix that. April's tired. Emmett feels much better than he did before. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and Emmett looks, feels vigorous today. He does look healthy, doesn't he? Oh, did he increase his stat or does he just feel vigorous now? I'm going to actually look that up. Uh, da, 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 people, are you any better, or are you just, uh, yes, as strength average, yes, excellent, also, new goal, new goal, maybe, no, no new goal, but we did accomplish all these things, so is there a, do there is, it needs a lot of work, there's a, there's a dog, there's a chihuahua, can we repair the chihuahua, how do I do that, maybe it's gonna be a thing that pops up, uh, maybe in the computer, so let's try to repair the battery next. So we might need the battery for the dog. And we've got lots of science and food now. Who did we say was starving? Was it Tom? Was it April? April's starving. All right, April, don't be starving. Stop being starving, girl. Girl, girl, you gotta be stop starving. Ma'am, something is seeping into the shuttle. It looks like a trickle of iron filings. 
Could it be nano machines? Outside the shuttle, a track of bright, vital flowers and clean soil lead away into the distance. The nano machines are pouring in and pooling on the floor, sliding in various directions. This is a high risk situation, Captain. Shall I continue letting them in? A track of bright, vital flowers and clean soil lead the way into the distance. So. Yes, let them in? Because they could be good for us? They could be good? I'm trying to repair the dog. I, we might need a battery for it. I don't know how to repair the dog. Uh, there, I'm trying to read that message. Oh, there are events for the dog. Got it. We need battery. Yes. And that's why I'm repairing the battery now. Battery, then dog, then happy. Yes. Then question mark, then profit. <laughs> um, then killing robot children. I don't want to do that. If there's three, three fourths, yes, but a four out of four, no. Wait, three fourths, four out of four. Wait, what? What? Okay. I don't know what that means, but... Should we let in the nano machines? They might be good for us. The robots have been pretty friendly. It's the crystal monster that wasn't friendly. I think we're letting, I, um. Yes, say no. Super Foxer says say no. I mean, you know what? We're not really growing food. We're finding food. Super Foxer, I'm gonna trust you on this. Super Foxer, I'm trusting your instincts here. Three force people, four force people. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, what now? Like, for the number of people I have? If there's only three out of four people, say yes. But if there's four out of four, say no. Oh! Interesting. Is that because, like, I was going to get, like, a robo-person out of this or something? They break my battery and lighter. I break their faces. All right, we'll say no. We won't let them in, then, uh, because you say not to. Now, we can send someone on another expedition. And I'm thinking, uh, probably Tom again. And Emmett's doing pretty well. All right, let's see. Let's decide where we want to go. Uh, we oh, was it this flag? No, that's the oil falls. We've been there. So I'm thinking either the chudge, char, the chudging, the chudging hub, the charging hub, which we haven't been to at all yet for energy and apparently another battery if we want, or we can go back to the village. We don't need minerals though. Let's go to the charging hub. We really don't need more minerals. Let's go to the charging hub. The hazards are grass. I don't know how to fix grass. So we're gonna confirm and. Uh, Emmett is three three one. Tom is one two two. Oh, at Emmett, Emmett's looking pretty good. Emmett's looking pretty. We could send Emmett because Emmett is actually our minerals guy, believe it or not, and Tom is actually our science guy. So we can send Emmett on this expedition, um, and and hopefully he doesn't need very much strength, but he's very flexible now, and he is feeling vigorous. I think we're good about that. That way Tom can stay here and keep working on science for us. I think I think Emmett. I think we're sending Emmett on his first ever expedition. That's what I think we're going to do. We're going to send him with armor for sure. I think our shovel's broken, so I don't think I can send him with a shovel. I wouldn't mind bring, sending him with a shovel just because it's grass, but we, it's broken, so we can't do that. You say oil falls plus Tom plus gun plus armor. Oh, I, I wanted to try to hit all the places we haven't been to at all before. Hey, Tom, want to kill another monster? Send him in. Uh, for charging hub, we don't have the items. We don't have the items. What items do we need? Is it is it the shovel? Is it the shovel that we need? Because I, I can I can back up. Because I thought maybe armor would be fine. For in, is this an environmental hazard? I assume. Because what do I have? I have an artifact. I do have a gun. I have the book. I have the mask. I have a Popeye soap tape communicator. It might be the shovel. It requires an upgraded shovel. Oh. Well, that might be a while. We could go to a different place entirely. We could go to the village. We really don't need the minerals. But, like, it's, uh, like, like if I click off, you see how it's, like, flashing? Like, there's something new there? We could go back to the village with our mask on. Length is three days, which is what's kind of annoying. Even the oil falls is only two days. Let's try the village, I think. I think we go we're going to do that. It doesn't matter. Super Foxer says oil falls with Tom. I, I want to go someplace we, ha we, we have a flashing thing for, though. That's what I want to do. Send Tom to falls while you make shovels. While I make the shovel, send him to the falls. We don't need mineral. You're right. All right, let's do that. We'll send Tom to the oil falls. You've convinced me. We, do, we could use the science. We'll send Tom since he's uh, stronger. I hope that's what we need. Because Emmett's more flexible. But we'll send Tom since he's stronger. 
Um, okay, and we'll send him with the armor. The, you've convinced me. We'll send him with the armor and the gun. Does he need anything else? He doesn't need a third thing, though, right? Uh, gun and armor, no. I think that's all he needs, right? We we can send him with the artifact. Uh, no, I think that's it. I think that's good. All right, that's it. We'll send him with just those two. Confirm. I'm locking it in. All right, we'll send Tom there. He'll get us some more science. You've convinced me. You've convinced me. Look at Tom's hair. Look how wild man he's getting. His beard's coming really full, too. I'm proud of you, too. I'm proud of you, too, and your beard creation. All right, I think we've locked everything in. I think we're good to go. We're not letting in the uh, nano machines. You've convinced me. If it wasn't for your convincing, I would have gone a completely different route, and God knows what would have happened to me. The flood of nano machines entering the cabin was becoming a torrent when you gave the command to stop them, so I ran a current through the hole. Oh, how I love the smell of ionizing micrometer machinery in the morning. Oh, I love the the alliteration. I call that technique ro bot dye. Bot dye? Wait, what, what was that? What was that? Uh, what was that? I'm trying to think of the like, Metal Gear Solid, like fox dye. Fox dye. I wonder where they came uh, came from and what they wished to do with the crew. If only nanomachines were the solution to all of life's mysteries, then I might have recommended a different course of action. Tom has gone to take another look at the local oil falls. Emmett remains vigorous. Emmett is still complaining about the lack of rations. Repairs have been completed on the atomic battery. April has rested. April would like to eat something. All right. So next, I think we should continue making more repairs. So let's repair the shovel then. Since you guys seem adamant on me doing shovel repairs. No one's starving right now, right? We good? We good. Computer! There is nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you... I suggest you... Captain? Would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be boredom? Yes! I have heard that you humans need excitement in their lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle drifting through the deep cosmos. Actually, we're not. We're sitting on a planet right now but full of wonder and mystery can you at least pretend you're having a good time i could should i should i even use anything here i don't want to become bored should we use the handbook or the sock puppet probably the sock puppet right use the sock puppet pretend we're having a good time that way we don't not have a good time that's what i'm thinking <laughs> persuasion persuasion 99 to 100 whoa, whoa, whoa. you just upgraded you just leveled up in skyrim or something your persuasion stat skill I love the pickle Rick emoji. Oh my god. Upgrade the body. I think we're going to do the shovel since we are going to need the shovel. You say book. We need power for the dog. Yes, and we have the battery. We didn't upgrade the battery, but we have it repaired now. Book. Okay, we'll do the book. We'll do the book. I'm going to repair the shovel. I'm going to repair everything first and then upgrade. Is what I, Well, we might not we might not repair the lighter cuz screw the lighter, right? Mo understands my reference. I got you. I got you. We're going to do the book then, apparently. We'll do the handbook. I feel like that's not going to help my boredom, though, because it's, like it's like a chemical handbook. It's gonna, it's not going to help our boredom. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just go for it. We have not had a single issue with sanity this entire game, so I'm not too worried about it now. So let's go to day 45. My God. It's been, it's been a hot fortnight since we started today. Yesterday start, uh, started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around, browsing your Astro Citizen handbook on the toil. I mean, in the airlock, it was on the toilet. Look, I am not, I am not about to judge anybody for doing their reading on the toilet. That's where everybody should do their reading. You found a set of exercises and decided to try them out. After all, if you're doing all your reading on the toilet, you know when it's time to stop, when you lose all the circulation in your leg, right? That's how it works. <laughs> you did jumping jacks all afternoon. How fun. But more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. April's still complaining about the lack of rations. Emmett continues to look vigorous. Emmett keeps asking for soup. Repairs are completed. I'm starving. Okay. That's fine. I'm the only one starving, though, right? I better... I better... We've got three soups. So, soup's up, my dudes. Uh, we'll, we'll feed myself a soup. And should we repair the lighter? Or should we go ahead and upgrade? Upgrades take power. You want me to upgrade... Should I upgrade the battery or the shovel, though? Uh, we'll do... Maybe, yeah. Maybe we'll do the battery, since that should help with the dog. Upgrade battery. Lighter is upgrade, so it's a mini flame Oh, really? What? What? You can turn the lighter into a mini flamethrower. All right, we'll upgrade the battery this time. We only have 15 energy, and we're getting energy very slowly. We need to get more energy uh, so that we can do more upgrades. So we'll upgrade the battery this time. Confirm. I'm okay with that. Is, is that going to be that or the shovel? But we'll do the battery. Um, Captain, when the sun rose this morning, our ship was surrounded by sigils. Little bars of metal welded together to form stick figure-like shapes. 
Directly outside the door was a pile of ball bearings stacked. That's terrifying. Nearby, a little empty ring was drawn in the... It's like a fairy circle. We're about to be transported, like, magically. Something is toying with us. Do you wish to leave an offering in the ritual ring? Venture out at night with some protection or just try to ignore these frankly creepy goings-on? We need to leave the artifact, don't we? I, whatever, whatever ritual this is going to be a part of, I, I want to be a part of it. Actually, that's probably doing nothing. Oh, maybe we should leave the artifact. I got no other real purpose for it. I've got no other real purpose for the artifact, so that's what I'm thinking. I think it's the artifact. I think I'm going to go with the artifact. Whatever ritualistic nonsense we're about to become a part of, I am down for it. I, I accept these terms. And my day. Confirmed. Wave my finger around 46. Hey, 46. Hey, what's up? I've still got my, uh, my, my, my uh, artifact, apparently. Goals updated. Check goals. Oh, after the strange sigils and symbols appeared around the shuttle, you decided to leave the artifact we found in the little ring drawn in the dirt. The next morning, all the creepy detritus had been removed, and all that remained was the artifact, now patched up with bits of melted metal. How they managed that, it doesn't bear thinking about. Let's just be art thankful. It didn't end horribly. This is true. I remain alert. Emma continues to be my friend. Upgrade completed. We've got a thermonuclear battery. I'm getting quite hungry. Emmett is starving. Uh, can you? Yeah, I actually, I can secure a thing of soup. I'm just doing well mentally. He looks alert. You should know any increase in well-being usually comes with a productivity boost. Neat. I figured as much. Let's look at that new goal. Fix the robotic dog. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Can I do that now? Is that what we're about to find out? Um, can we upgrade? We do not have the energy to upgrade anything else. I do have the science to go ahead and just finish repairing the lighter, and I guess I might as well. I could start crafting a meta kit. Let's go ahead and, it, this takes one day, right? Let's go ahead and repair the lighter, because God knows if that'll come in handy later. We'll go ahead and repair that, since I can't actually upgrade anything right now. Computer, your attempts to fix the robotic dog found at the old assembly line have been quite a struggle so far. You've been fiddling with this loose cable all morning. Can it be removed? Where does it go? What does it even do? It's been a few days since you found this unfortunate cable sticking out of the robo dog's complicated insides. You've been over this countless times, but it remains disconnected. Surely it's important, right? Maybe it activates uh, bringing a newspaper and slippers. Perhaps it's responsible for barking in the middle of the night. Whatever it's for, it must be crucial, and you need to figure out a way to reconnect it. Somewhere. Anywhere. Y we all know it has to be the tape. It's got to be the tape, right? Lighter sounds dangerous. Handbook doesn't sound helpful. It's got to be tape. It's got to be duct tape. It's always going to be the duct tape, right? Uh, oh, God. Super Fox, are you saying book? Wait, does Super Fox want me to use the book instead of the, instead of the tape? A book in all caps? Okay, Super Foxer, I'll trust you on this. I'll trust you. You've probably done this before, and you actually probably know all the outcomes. This is probably, like, some version of cheating, but I'll trust you. <laughs> I'll trust that you're not messing with me. Look at this battery. I love how it's all shiny and glowing and great. I like it. All right, that's all. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use the book. I was going to use the tape, but I guess we're going to use the book. No one was starving, right? We good? All right, we'll just end the day. I'm okay. Hopefully no one was starving. I think we're fine. Day 47! And to, oh, uh, Tom's back, and we brought our soup! Gold Chief fixed the robotic dog, we did it! Good thinking, Captain, you consulted your handbook's chapter on electronics and On electronics? See, I thought it was a chemical book. See, that's why I didn't think that would be helpful. And you figured out the correct connection. To be fair, you were really close before. You were trying the right socket. All you needed to do was flip the plug. Oh, that's easy, just poop. Tom is back to give you his report from the last voyage. He is mighty tired, but still alive. He says he could eat something, and his mental state is suboptimal. Tom claims that a mechanical creature with one eye peeked out of the hot oil stream and attacked him. He fired straight at the eyeball and defeated it, but the pistol got a little jammed. Tom tried to gather some oil further upstream, but only got a little bit before the robots relaxing there told him to go away. So we got 17 science. Not a lot of science, but some. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, it's more science than he would have got by just hanging out around here. Where does all this soup come from? So we got some soup. Overall, Tom says it's an interesting landmark, but not without its dangers. The place keeps robots keep their bodies in decent shape, but the aggressive mechafauna hides the stream's surface. I wonder if we need to dive into that at some point in time, like dive below the, we need to, we need to build a submarine, and we need to go into the oil fields. April's still loyal, Emma is still my friend, Emma still looks starved. Still looks starved, did we not, um, actually, no, I don't think we fed him. We'll feed him this time. We fixed the fancy lighter, um, new item, fancy lighter, oh, so did it just go from lighter to fancy lighter, or do we have the ability to make it fancy now, probably that one. 
Now, April is starving. Tom is definitely weak. Tom is starving. Everyone's starving. Okay, so everyone's starving. That's a little concerning. So we've got uh, our goal updated. Uh, the robot dog is fixed. He doesn't look fixed, but maybe he will be fixed tomorrow. So everyone's like starving, which is a little concerning. So we're going to feed everybody. Tom's even weak right now. And, and and yeah, that's not that's not great. We need to take we don't have a med kit right now. Uh, you're starving. So we're gonna feed the people that are starving. We should probably I can't do any more repairs because nothing's damaged. I can do some upgrades, but I don't have the energy f uh, I don't have Yeah, I don't have the energy for repairs. So we need to do some crafting. And I think we're gonna craft a first aid kit. It's gonna take a bazillion years to craft. I wanna make some soup. But we'll do the med kit. We'll be okay. We're gonna do the med kit because Tom's weak and I don't want him to be weak. He's got three red things and I do not like that. All right, computer, what's up? I'm detecting a huge energy surge beneath the surface. Seismic waves. I think there's an earthquake coming. The shuttle is sturdy, but this ground is not. This soil has a high potential to liquefy when the earthquake hits. There's a better patch of rocky ground a few yards ahead. You could use the shuttle's thrusters to scoot onto it. But if you overshoot, you'll be in an even worse ground than you are now. Will you attempt? The maneuver. Oh no. Okay, the shuttle is sturdy. The ground isn't. We don't really want to fall into a pit, but I don't want to be in worse position either. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the trust. I appreciate it. Oh, Super Foxer, did you just attempt to take on the Lich yourself and you won? Super Foxer, have you even lost a single fight to, <laughs> to anybody? Nice. Or, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you can make it. Hello, hello. How are things going in outer space? Pretty splendidly, actually. Pretty well. Better, better than the first time. Make med kit. Yes. Maybe Weeks dies. Maybe Weeks... Uh, uh, I don't... Uh... Oh, if we if we if we let the earthquake hit us, maybe someone who's weak might die. Well, we don't want that. I think we're going to scoot. I think we're going to try to scoot. I think we're going to try to scoot. Yeah, I think we're going to try to scoot. I don't want to get hit. The thing is, the, the way I see it, seismic wave guaranteed to hit us. Scooting, 50-50 shot of being safe. So guaranteed damage or like 50-50 shot. So I think we're going to go with the scooting maneuver. Also, should we send somebody on another expedition? I think we should. April, we're feeding. We're going to feed April. Uh, we haven't upgraded our shovel yet. That's the thing. Cause I, I don't have enough stuff for upgrading. So don't go to the charging hub. Should we just go to the oil falls again and keep trying to get more science? If you keep going to the same place over and over again, will that like diminish what's there? The library gives us science too. We could go back to the assembly line. <laughs> I don't know. That'll only take two days. Because the villain, we really don't need minerals. If Tom dies, we got April. This is true. I hope Tom doesn't die. I hope he does not. I hope he survives. Because he I, he only just became weak. Uh, let's go back to the assembly line. Sure, why not? Like, we've got the mask and stuff. So let's send April, I think, to the assembly line. That'll give us some more science, maybe some more food. Because I don't want to just keep going to the oil fields in case if you keep going over and over again, if it gets worse for us. So maybe April. Oh, Star, nice. Um, I don't know if we need strength for this. I, we could send Emmett on his first mission. April's two, one, and one. You're three star and none. Should we send em Emmett on his first ever escapade? Library plus April plus only like Oh, gets more sign. You know what? You know what? The library, where did we say the library was? The library. The library might be a smart idea because we never brought the lighter there. We never did bring the lighter to the library. It is three days, though. All right, hang on. If we do the library, should we... If we do the library, though, should we send April or, again, Emmett Smarter? Emmett Smarter, should we send him? He's like a genius. So if we send him to the library, maybe he can get even more science out of it? I think we send Emmett on his first mission. I'm really keen to do that, if you haven't noticed. I'm really keen. We're going to bring the lighter, because we haven't done that. I'm going to bring the armor, because I always bring the armor. Should we bring anything else, though? Probably just the lighter. Probably just the lighter will be fine. Assembly line is hazard and mass could fail. Okay. 
So the assembly line has a chance of like failing. The, okay, we'll do, I, I think we're gonna send Emmett. 50-50, got it. Okay, so we'll do the library. We'll send Emmett, cause he's really smart. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if that makes any difference. But I'm gonna try it, cause I wanna see how this goes down. I wanna send him with the lighter. I think I'm gonna lock that in. I think that's good. I don't need to bring a third item, cause what, what would I even bring, right? A gun? Bring a gun to a library fight? You're not dying on me, right? We're, you're starving, but we're feeding you right now, so you should be fine. Because uh, I think that's how that works. All right, ending day. Doing it. Doing it. I'm calling it.